Okay, right now we are still in the insecure direct object references. All right, but we have already uh, seen the previous clip of the first tab one, which is a reading tab two, as well as tab three. We are now looking at this tab number four. Uh, but of course, uh, launch your web code server. Right. Then once you have launched your web code server, the, for this particular session, you will actually need your Z attack proxy, which is Z, which I've already run here. Right. Then of course, launch your browser and get these two, which is Z as well as the uh, web code to work together. I have already done that and you can refer to the previous script right, on how to do this. And we are already getting uh, a number of packet through. Right. Uh, of course, standard thing that you need to do is log in into your web code and navigate to the insecure direct object reference below the access control flow. Now, in order to do this particular lab 4, all right, uh, what they want us to do is basically to look for an alternative path all right, to the URL to view uh, my own profile. Okay, and uh, is indicated here we start with the web code so we actually will ignore the local host 8080 port which is the default port itself now in order to do this uh, first of all i will need to do a few other things uh, i will do this piece by piece so you can understand what is going on here right. i'm going to go into my tab two which is the login screen for this particular uh, insecure direct object reference and I'm going to enable my break in the Z attack proxy which is my Z then I'm just going to log in using the Tomcat ID and password and submit of course, the Zap attack proxy will capture it. Uh, I'll just let it step through. Right. And the moment you go through this, you will realize there's something very interesting here. Okay, it's not yet completed, but you will realize that there is this sort of uh, path right, created. Right. Some of them looks very funny, like for instance this one, this one actually looks uh, very funny. Let me just copy this one out, which is the idle profile. Right. I will open my notepad and I will paste it inside here. So I have a very weird path, All right. I'll keep this one in view first, Okay, and then I will proceed. All right, so uh, I've already logged in, okay, okay. but uh, that's about it. Okay, so you can see I'm logged in. I'm now logged in as Tom, and I'm supposed to uh, proceed. All right, now I'm going to go into my tab number three. We have also have done this. Let me just step it through. Okay, uh, I'm going to do another break here in this particular tab. All right, inside the zap, I create the bricks, and I'm gonna click this view profile. As a uh, notice, right, there is now a lot of uh, okay. So now I'm at the second one, right, and I'll pause here for a while. We have already seen this, and I already explained this, okay, which uh, previously you don't see everything that is appearing on the screen, but. Here, I actually have a user ID. Now I'm going to copy this as well. All right. 
so this is actually my user ID okay and I will allow this to go through right. so now I have quite a few information okay I have my path which is my idol profile and I have my user ID which is actually belonging to uh, Tomcat now let me go to the next step so based on this I actually have my answer all right so I'll start at web code okay then I'll copy this idol profile paste it here so web code slash idol profile slash and the back portion here is actually a user ID which I omitted it and I will replace it with this user ID that I have captured just now put it at the very end All right. after the profile slash and I will click submit All right. and with this you can actually see that I get a congratulation message at the bottom here All right. and uh, I have already used an alternate URL route to view my own profile and this is the profile that I've seen here over here right. so that will complete our tab number 4 for this idol which is uh, insecure direct object reference